Good day, everybody. This is Jeffrey Smith, also known as Captain Marvelous. You may have seen my brother. He is Captain Obvious on Hotels.com on TV. I'm the better looking brother. So let's get started. Today, I'm going to talk about the different rating systems used for figuring out hotels and their services and their facilities. Two big things that we have to remember, diamonds and stars. Stars, you might ask, what are those? Some might think they're up in the sky. You see them at night. Diamonds, what are those? Some might think they're on your rings. What I'm here to say today, and describe to you today, is the difference between diamonds and stars. Over here is a beautiful picture of the Whistler Four Seasons Resort. That's Four Seasons Resort. What makes that different from Four Seasons Motel? Stars and diamonds help us figure out the difference between staying in a property like this and staying in a property like that. So let's move on. Three main ratings that we use for stars and diamonds are the Forbes system. Forbes was previously known as the Mobile system and it basically does use the stars. The other system is called the Five Diamonds AAA CAA, okay? And Travelocity is another version of online. So CAA stands for Canadian Automobile Association, and AAA stands for the American Automobile Association. Those both are systems that use diamonds. Now, hotel ratings and criteria. Let's compare now Forbes and the CAA and AAA diamonds, stars and diamonds, okay? Once again, Forbes was known as mobile. Hotel inspectors come and stay in the hotel for at least one to two nights. Visits are unannounced, so the staff has no idea that the inspector is in there. And they go incognito, so they just blend in with all the guests. For the CAA AAA ratings, using the diamond system, hotel inspection visits a few hours depending on the size of the hotel. Visits are unannounced, but they do tell the employees that they're there, and the staff are all aware that they're there. They do not spend an overnight. So, Forbes, what is the criteria? What is, what is it that they're looking for? They look at two things, facility inspection and service evaluation. For four and five star hotels, they actually might come back again for a second night incognito. CAA and AAA rating criteria is based on facility inspection and management style of operation. So they look at the culture and what's going on in the hotel, more so than the actual service. So now let's look at all the different kinds of ratings we have. We're looking at stars and diamonds, and these rank from, st from one to five. Now I've combined them because they both, even though they're two separate systems, are both, both looking for the similar kind of things when they look at a hotel. So, a one star diamond hotel, basic level of service and accommodations that are clean and comfortable. That's what we recognize a one star or diamond hotel at being. A two star or diamond hotel is similar to a one star diamond hotel, but has a full service restaurant, as well as clean and comfortable rooms. A three-star or diamond hotel, these hotels provide a full range of amenities and can be distinguished by its style and ambience, the kind of feeling that we get when we stay in these hotels. This is the three-star, three-diamond. Now my favorite, four-star and diamond hotels. These are hotels that provide a high level of guest service, amenities, and have great attention to detail. Five star or five diamond hotels are world class hotels. They provide flawless guest service and amenities that provide a memorable experience for the guest. Okay, so the third category, which we talked about, like Travelocity has, these are online hotel ratings. These are different than Forbes and AAA or CAA ratings, okay? These ratings based on direct guest feedback using a star system. So the guests stay at a hotel, they go online, and they give their feedback. 
Standards vary by website between Travelocity, between Expedia. Everyone has a different range and there's no real control, but at least people put their comments in and rate it on a star system. Most of the feedback relates to the hotel facilities and service experienced by the guest. Now let's look at the difference between the three styles, between the Forbes star system, between the CAA AAA diamond system and the online system. The diamond system is based more on the hotel facilities than the service. The star system focuses more on the hotel service than the facilities. Okay? How good is the guest service compared to how well the property looks? Internet ratings are unregulated, as we said. They can be anywhere from one to nine stars. Forbes rates more hotels globally than the CAA AAA diamond ratings, okay? They go more globally. They look at all the hotels around the world. Some hotels can be ranked differently by each system, depending on what country you're in. Now let's look at some examples of some five-star hotels in Vancouver. The Four Seasons Hotel is a five-star ranked Forbes hotel. I'm just going to stick with the five and four stars because I believe these are the ones that are far and few between. The second example of a five-star hotel is the Rosewood Hotel, Georgia, Vancouver. Beautiful hotel, just been remodeled, excellent. Now we go down to some examples of four-star hotels. Fairmont Pacific Rim, excellent hotel for four-star service, and they've been around since 2010, since the Olympics. One of my favorites, the four-star hotel, is a Pan Pacific Vancouver hotel, located right on the waterfront where all the cruise ships dock. Beautiful, high-end, world-class service. Now let's look at diamonds. We only have one five-diamond hotel in Vancouver. It's the Shangri-La Hotel, okay, and it is the only one really in British Columbia. Examples of some four diamond hotels through the AAA CAA guide is the Delta Victoria Ocean Point Resort and Spa. Another four diamond hotel is the Fairmont Empress Victoria Hotel. These are all really classic hotels with full on service and facilities. And that leads us back to the only hotel here that's ranked five star and five diamond. That is the Whistler Four Seasons Resort. So as you can see, if you want more information about this, please look at the Forbes website or the CAA AAA website for more information about diamonds and stars. What's really cool about all of this for us in British Columbia is that most of these four and five star and diamond hotels are located only in three major locations, Victoria, Vancouver, and Whistler. Makes the choice very easy. That is all for now. I hope you understand now how the rating systems work for our hotels between stars and diamonds and online. Thank you very much. And if you ever see my brother, say hello.